With so many people unemployed or underemployed right now, the bills may be starting to pile up. Here at Fox 13 News, we are committed to helping you and your family make your way through these tough times. That is the focus of our Rebound series, and we've found that a few phone calls just might save you a lot of money. I'm retired now, so I'm pretty much on fixed income. Ed Chip does everything he can to cut corners in his budget. I still clip coupons. He also likes to negotiate his bills using bill cutters, a bill negotiating service. Everybody's looking to cut back in any fashion that they can. Bill Cutters CEO Barry Gross says now is the perfect time to negotiate since many companies are offering deals. But you have to be the one to initiate the call. You know, if they don't call, they're not going to get. And then if they don't ask, they're not going to get. And don't be bashful. Gross says the easiest bills to negotiate are non-essential services. Start with your cell phone, cable, satellite, or internet, landline phone, home security, and satellite radio. When negotiating, talk to someone outside the customer service department. Threaten to cancel or switch providers. And ask questions that can't be answered with a simple yes or no. It's just as simple as that. It's an open-ended question, and then after that, you just be quiet and let them speak. Gross says be polite, but don't accept the first offer. It's all stuff you can do yourself, but Gross says companies like his know how to get you better deals, and they'll save you time. Ed says he ended up saving close to $1,200 over the course of a year. I would say to definitely uh, pursue it because in almost all cases, you can get a discount if you are persistent. In addition to bill cutters, there are other companies you can find online, such as Bill Slasher and Bill Fixers. Most of them take a percentage of what you saved that first year, and you pocket the rest.